Somehow, I have gained a bit of a reputation as someone who dresses rather colourfully and mixes lots of patterns of prints in their outfits. I really can't tell how people have come to think that. Really, it's a mystery to me and everyone around me. I thought I dressed rather dull. In fact, I'm a pretty dull person with a dull personality and a dull sense of style. Anyway, hi, hello, it's me, it's Steph. You clicked on this video because you want to learn more about how to mix patterns and prints together in your outfits, and I am here to support that goal. That's a that's an absolutely uh, honourable goal, and I believe that together we can achieve it. I am so proud, and I am here to support you in your goal of mixing patterns and, and prints because it's just like a really fun way to dress, and I feel like it will just make your life feel so much, it will feel so fun. And I feel like ever since I was little, I wanted to mix patterns. One of my earliest memories, I think I was about six or seven. No, I think I was even younger than that. I think I was maybe like four. And my mom said, hey, you can dress yourself this morning. And I remember I put a floral with another floral and my mother was horrified. I'm pretty sure she, she changed me into something less extreme, but anyway, it's ironic because now she comes to me for outfit advice. Hi mum. All that being said, I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks for how to put together an outfit that involves more than one print or pattern or however you want to call it. Huge caveat though, that you are the captain of your own ship and you can wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. I am not here to tell you what to do. But if you do find anything in this video useful, please remember to subscribe because that does mean a lot to me. Let's dive right in. My first tip is to start with a color or a texture. If you're new to mixing patterns and patterns, prints and prints, I don't know, we need to like, we need to just like, we need to confirm the terminology now. I'm gonna use these terms interchangeably. So please, if you have opinions, either keep them to yourself or write them below. I'm just gonna use them interchangeably, deal with it. So the first thing you wanna do when you're mixing patterns is to establish what kind of color palette you're gonna go with. What I try to do is pick the item of clothing that has the main print that I want to wear, that I'm really drawn to, and then I pick something, some color out of that print to then find another pattern to go with it. Entry level, entry level, like pattern mixing 101, entry level pattern mixing is to go with a stripe and something else. So I really like to do a stripe with a floral. So start with your floral, see what colors are in your floral, and then pick out a color to go with your stripe. That is, that is as easy as it is. Rather than going with a solid color for your top, try a stripey thing. Rather than going for a plain dress, try a stripey dress with something floral. If you're still not up for going that far, that is totally cool. You can start even more entry level is mixing a textured fabric with a print. So I like to go with like a ribbed knit or something. This is a very small rib. Um, or a what's called a broderie anglaise, which is a kind of cotton with that lace texture and those little sort of like peephole things. If you go with that and then put a pattern with that, like a floral or something, or a stripe even, then that's a great way to kind of bring more texture and more fun into your outfit without going like too wild. Like I get it, I get it. Not everyone wants to turn heads, not everyone wants to get those compliments. That's fine, that's fine. But if you wanna like have some fun, then yeah, I recommend trying it out. You can see here that I've got my vegetable top on, which is one of my favorites, and my blue and white stripy skirt. And then in this outfit, you can see I've got a black and white stripy top and a floral pant. And the reason that it works with the floral pant with the black and white, I don't really like to wear much black because it's very difficult to like put with other things and still make it look really nice. I know I have opinions about it. I will, I will maybe address those in another video. But the reason that this outfit works is because the floral has a black accent in the print. And so you can draw out the black, add a white, and there's also white in the pants. And that's how you get this look. So the second tip I'm gonna give you is really concentrating on warm tones versus cool tones. We're getting into a little bit of color theory here. So to get prints to work together, you need to understand 
that's sort of basic color theory. I'm not going to recap what many others have done a way better job of me before. So you can research in your own time color theory and warm tones and cool tones. There are many, 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 many resources out there that you can use. But basically when picking the prints to go together, you want the tones of the colors to be in harmony. I generally try to put warm with warm and cool with cool. Sometimes, sometimes the clash works. You gotta experiment a little bit. For example, this brown and white stripy dress, I would classify probably as a warm tone, but then the jacket that I'm wearing is kind of an acid floral. It's kind of got these cool vibes about it, but for some reason it works, I don't know. There's no real rules. You can just kind of experiment and see what works for you. Also, it's worth like figuring out what kind of um, tone goes with your skin tone. I'm lucky I've got quite a neutral skin tone that actually goes quite cool in winter, so I'm, I'm losing a lot of my tan and I'm, I'm entering the cool era. Cool, I'm so cool. Cool girls for the win. <laughs> but for me, I tend to gravitate towards really warm, rich tones, like jewel tones and like rich reds and burgundies and oranges evidently and things like that because I don't know that's just that just makes me happy but if you know that you prefer to wear cool tones for example then if you mix up a cool tone print with another cool tone print then you're probably going to be on the right track. I would probably also classify this vegetable top as probably mostly dominated by warm tones but there is the slight green cool green of the I think it's celery well, let's just say it's celery um, so that kind of goes with the cool tone of the green pants. Have you found anything useful yet? Would you like to subscribe? I'll give you a minute to do that. All, all you need is actually half a second to click down there. Thank you. All right, moving on to number three. This I'm gonna call pattern scale. When you're mixing patterns, I would say that a general rule to live by is to mix a large print with a small print. If you mix a small print with a small print, it's going to end up looking too much like pyjamas. And same if you go for a large print with a large print. There's just something about having that continuity throughout the whole outfit that kind of just makes it look not quite right. One of the easiest pattern mixes to go with, entry level stripes is to mix a small stripe with a large stripe. So you can see here that I've got this shirt on, which is a small stripe, you belongs to my husband, thank you very much, and these shorts, which have a wider stripe. And now you can see if I bring up the other skirt, which has a small stripe next to the shirt with a small stripe, it just kind of ends up looking a bit too pajamery. So you want to you want to keep that in mind. That's a way to make sure that your outfit doesn't look too busy or too too much of one thing. Like sometimes it's just it can just look a bit a bit weird. But hey, that's kind of what we're going for. So whatever floats your boat, really. In case of stripes and stripes, you should also bear in mind the orientation of the stripes. If you're wearing a vertical stripe on the top, continue a vertical stripe on the bottom. If you're wearing a horizontal stripe, continue that with a horizontal stripe. If you mix the two, I don't know. It's, for me, there's a clash, and like it just doesn't look as cohesive. But in terms of scale generally, and to continue with the stripe theme, if you have a small stripe and a small floral pattern, for example, next to each other, they're gonna fight, they're gonna cause too much, there's gonna be too much going on there, and it's gonna read as like a bit, it's, it's just not gonna work, okay? It might end up looking like a little bit too busy. So I would say put a large floral with a small stripe, or vice versa, put a large stripe with a small floral. And if you're not into florals, then you can mix up the pattern scale by putting like a gingham with a larger check, a gingham with a tartan, or you can go for like a smaller ge geometric with a larger geometric. That can also look really cool. One of, one of my favorite ever outfits that I ever put together. It's completely me made, as they say. I sewed it to myself. It was my tartan crop top with these floral trousers. I think it works because there's a geometric link between the tartan, the check of the tartan, and the sort of background stripe, we're going to call it, of the back, maybe it's just like geometric, the background of the floral, which is actually a Japanese fabric. And I think the scale works because the tartan stripes are quite small and fine, and then the floral is actually quite a large floral that 
has that contrast between the small and the large. And the same story goes for the same top with the other floral trousers. And there's also a colour link there which makes them work with the slight red in the tartan and the red of the pants. Right, the next tip is to go for patterns in the same style. So I already touched on this with putting the, the gingham top with the check pants. Same thing, you can, you can play with scale and play with barn and patterns by putting uh, patterns of the same family together. It works really well with stripes, as I talked about before, but also works really well with checks and tartans. The goal here, when doing this, when embarking down this road, if you've got this far, you're doing really well. And the main aim is to be, it's to be adventurous. So just throw caution to the wind and just like go for it. If you think it looks nuts, but it's still kind of working on some level, then you're in the right kind of territory. One of my favorite looks that I put together probably about five years ago, when I was first like exploring doing this pattern mixing thing again, and that was when I put my black and white check pants on with, I think it was just a black top and my tartan, my red tartan jacket. And I thought I was like, fuck, I look fucking cool. And then a few years later, in fact, last year, I think it was last year, I thought it was a stroke of genius when I discovered my great grandmother's kilt. And I put that with my tartan crop top and my tartan jacket. And I just felt a million bucks because it was just wild. It was just wild. And another stroke of genius was pairing the red floral plant pants, red floral plants, red floral pants with the floral jacket. And I just thought, oh, you have reached new heights. And that is a great segue into what I am gonna call advanced techniques. This is where I encourage you to go completely nuts and just try some shit out. If you're feeling confident, with colors and tones and mixing stripes and florals, then take it up a notch and go for three different prints together in the one outfit. Rule of three is a nice is a nice kind of rule to live by. Add a patterned accessory or go for the full shebang of an outfit all in the one print. This outfit is something that I kind of made in stages. I made the pants many years ago and then I made the, the top a couple of years ago. I wore it for the first time to my hands party as an outfit all in one and I just, you just feel, you feel extra, you feel like fashion, you feel amazing and it's just really, really fun and like people give you compliments, it's great. So that's my, those, are, those, those, those be my tips. That, those are my tips, but the most important thing is to just have some serious fun. Serious fun? Have some serious fun. Take the fun seriously and just like don't listen to my silly rules. If you, if you don't want to. This video is not intended to be a list of rules. It's just inspiration to try and get you trying out some different things with your outfits. If that's, if that's what you feel you want to do. If you don't feel you want to do that, no one's going to make you. There might be some questionable looks along the way as you experiment, but that is all part of the process. You just have to wait and see what happens. Most people are kind of too scared to try anything too weird. But I promise you'll get a lot of compliments if you start dressing in an adventurous way and start putting some prints together that you think work. You'll make people smile and you'll feel absolutely filled with confidence. There's nothing greater than wearing a completely absurd outfit and bringing genuine smiles to people's faces. Also, you'll get lots of compliments if that's what you want. Like, it's kind of tricky to think about how much of our society is driven by the way we, that we look, but I know for a lot of people that that gives a sense of inner confidence. And for me, it's actually about expressing who I really am on the outside. And that's been quite liberating for me in, a lot, in like very recent times as I've been like exploring more of my identity and figuring out who it is that I am. And yeah, I think back to that like four year old Steph who put that outfit together. And yeah, that's that's how she wants to dress. So I'm just going to let her do that because it's really fun. My coffee is finished, so the video must come to an end. I hope to see all of you embrace dressing a little bit more fun. I know that I've been having a lot of fun and there's still plenty more to come. Hey, that rhymed. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, give it a subscribe. You know the drill. I have been me. You've been you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye!